Hi and welcome to this tutorial about KST, a very fast user-friendly open source cross-platform plotting tool. This tutorial introduces images and metadata including automatic scalars and uh, showing how they can be used in labels, for instance. So to start I will create a matrix which I will load from an ele elevation data file in a NetCDF format. So it's this file here, which contains only one matrix named Z, where I could select the SEP sample or the whole matrix. I will hit OK here, and the matrix got loaded. If I go to View Matrices, there, get my values. So what can I do with this matrix? I could go to Create again, select Image here, and make a new image color map type based on the matrix I can select here the color palette for instance spectrum and place it in a new plot so if I hit OK there I get my matrix plotted as a colored elevation data now the amount of pixels in one direction and in the other directions uh, direction are very unequal so to make it look a bit better I could go to zoom here normalize x-axis to y-axis and that will plot the data without any distortion as you may have seen when I select my image here I could do a color map or a contour map or I could also do both. So if I select a contour map, I will have to give the number of control levels. Let's say 5 in this case, for instance. If I hit OK, now I get my contours. I'll come back to a color map because it looks nicer. So that was how to work with matrices, which you can create directly from here, not from the wizard, which only handles vectors, and images, which represent matrices in various ways. Another thing I'd like to show in this session is how to handle metadata, or how KST handles metadata. I will select for that NetCDF file, which can be freely downloaded from NetCDF examples available on the internet. In this case, the format gets picked up automatically. If I hit Next, I can select, for instance, uh, those six vectors, which I will plot from the beginning to the end as a function of time offset without any spectra, and I will put that in a new tab. So there, I get my plots. If I go to View again, I can view the vectors as usual. Here, get my data. But the interesting thing is more here in the strings section where I can have strings at data source level. So, file level, if you will, which give some properties metadata, experiment, aircraft, and so on, date, so on. I also have vector relevant metadata, like in this case the units. The interesting thing being that in this case, KST automatically detects that there are units attached to the vector and uses them uh, as part of the labeling. What I can also see here are scalars. Some of those scalars are at data source level, in this case, there's only one and attached to each vector I also have scalars. Some of them, it's hard to see the difference here by the way, but some of them are coming from the file, like the calibration coefficients, three of them, or sample rate, but some of the other ones like sigma, sum, first, min, max, are computed dynamically by KST and you will find them for any type of data, including also ASCII uh, or vectors read from an ASCII file. Now, what can I do with those data? I could, for instance, create a label here 
where I want to plot the max of this first variable here. So if I do this and place the label here, you see the max value which is attained here gets displayed. I could of course also use data from uh, the file itself, like for instance here file creation date, right, which I could put somewhere and move it around in the layout mode just as any other label. The interesting thing is that, for instance, this automatic scalar gets updated automatically. So here, if I select my vectors and change the sample range and start at sample, sample number 1000, notice here how the value will be, be updated automatically when I reduce the range of the vector. See here, all curves get aut uh, updated automatically and the uh, label as well. So this opens up uh, quite nice possibilities, which I'll leave up to your imagination to make the best use of. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for more tutorials. Bye bye.